guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home. On this channel, we talk a lot about homeschool resources and parenting resources. And the question I get asked all the time is, Katie, what are your favorites? Like, what are your top homeschool resources? Well, that's really hard for me to narrow down, but today I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys 10 of my favorite all-time homeschool resources. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. Before I jump into all of my favorites, I did want to tell you guys that this is actually a collab with my friend Dina over at Pursuing Peace. Her channel is fantastic and full of amazing resources as well. I'm sure you guys will love it. So be sure to check out the link down in the bio to check out her favorite resources for her homeschool. One of my first favorite homeschool resources is rolling carts. As you can see, we have a wide selection of rolling carts and we have, you love to use them. We have one for each kid so that they can put each of their individual subjects in there. So there's one for geography, one for science, one for Bible, one for math. This allows me to keep their curriculum organized and easy to access. It is the only homeschooling system that has successfully worked for us over several years where the kids actually put away and can find their material whenever we need it. So rolling carts definitely go for the number one slot. Now, speaking of curriculum, my number two pick for top homeschool resources is Rainbow Resources. If you guys are not familiar with this, this is a website, rainbowresources.com, where you guys can buy all sorts of curriculum, manipulatives, uh, read alouds, all sorts of things. They have almost always the best price on different books and resources. And best of all, anytime you order, you can get free shipping when you order $50 or more. So this is my go-to for homeschool. If I have to order supplies and I can't buy it used, then I always go to Rainbow Resources to check it out. They have amazing customer service and you can order one of their catalogs completely free and pour over hundreds and hundreds of pages of amazing curriculum and tools that you never even knew you needed. For my third pick, I'm going to say that our writing utensils are incredibly important to homeschooling success. Yes. And I love the Ticaronda pencils. They are by far my favorite. They don't break easily. The erasers actually last. And to go along with that, I'm going to say my Orbit pencil sharpener. We have had this one for several years. We ordered an additional one because we love it so much and it's so easy to sharpen your pencils. I'll drop links down in the bio for all of these resources, so no worries, no need to go out and search for it all. It'll all be down below. Third resource that I could never live without is my laminator. Now this one's brand new in the package, as you may notice, and that is because while my laminator, my Scotch laminator, has worked beautifully over the past several years and I have used it excessively, it finally died. Not due to mechanical error, but due to toddlers sticking fun little items inside the laminator and trying to laminate all sorts of fun toys and coins and all sorts of fun things. So this time I got a new laminator and I'm going to keep it out of reach of children. Also, when it comes to laminator pouches, I'm gonna link down below some of my favorite off-brand laminator pouches from Amazon. These work fantastic and they are a fraction of the price. Number five is my fellows binding machine. I love this machine. It punches the holes for your binding and then it has the combs that can open to help you insert your binding material. I will also post links to my favorite bindings as well as my favorite covers and backs. I love to put things in binding. It has helped so much over the school year. I've literally bound almost everything I've printed. I love it so much. This is actually the purely preschool curriculum we're using for my kids next year. And um, I've actually just did a video on that on Friday. If you guys want to check that out and learn a little bit more about it, it is an amazing resource that is only $5 a unit to use with your preschooler and open and easy to use. So definitely check out that video and maybe think about adding a binding system to your wish list for next year. Number six is this MP3 player from Amazon. It's only about $25. And again, I'll drop the link down below, but I love the fact that it can be loaded down with all sorts of audiobooks, music. I love to put our story of the world history on here, as well as sometimes their spelling list read off to them. 
This is amazing school resource for you and your family. It is totally durable. We've had it now for over a year, maybe two years now, and is held up to all the use and abuse. Each of the kids have their own, and I load it with a lot of different schoolwork or audiobooks for them to listen to, and it has been amazing. Speaking of audio, you guys knew I was gonna mention this. Number seven has to be our Alexa device. This has been a huge help in our homeschooling. I've actually made a couple of videos of educational games you can play on Alexa, as well as how to use it in your homeschooling. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll drop that down in the links below. What would the homeschool day be without a homeschool plan? Two of my favorite planners of all time for homeschooling are the Peaceful Planner done by Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. This helps me keep my life and my thoughts all organized and together. And then my favorite homeschooling planner for actual lesson planning and homeschooling is definitely the one from Not Consumes Ministry called the Organized Homeschool Planner. I have done flip through videos of both of these planners. If you guys want to check that out, I will drop that down below and be sure to stick around on May 1st because I'm going to be doing a plan with me where I actually show you how I use the Organized Homeschool Planner each and every month to plan our homeschool. Number nine would have to be lessonpicks.com. I will drop the link down below, but this one is an amazing website that you can sign up for a $32 subscription for the entire year, unlimited use, and you can insert either the clip art they already have in the program, or you can insert your own images and make things like picture schedules or flashcards for your kids. You can make games to reinforce different concepts that they're learning and so much more. I've made two videos on how to use this, one on how to use it for your special needs kiddos and and a second one on how to just use it in general in your homeschooling that you guys can check out if you're interested. But if you are looking at a way to create some of your own amazing resources, like what you see on Teachers Pay Teachers, I would highly recommend checking out this one. Our 10th and final resource for today is going to be our Bad Day Box. Our Bad Day Box is full of different activities, helpful biblical reminders, even a little bit of chocolate to help you get through those bad homeschool days when you just need a reset. This box is full of all sorts of amazing resources, Usborne books, and all sorts of fun guides. And you can actually learn all about this resource on my website at lifethemundane.com and click on the Bad Day Box tab at the top. You can get all these fun printables that will give you ideas for podcasts to listen to, YouTube videos to check out, all sorts of fun and amazing things like that. But this can be the whole thing that can turn your bad day all around. I hope you've enjoyed exploring our house and looking at 10 of our favorite homeschool resources. I hope that you'll also check out Dina's channel and look at her homeschool favorites and let her know that Katie over at Life in the Mundane sent you. Be sure to stick around because we have lots more amazing content coming out this week and beyond. And click the little bell notification and subscribe if you have it so you'll be notified when new videos come out. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.